there, there's this like stereotype where interns don't really get work yeah. that is like impactful. Significant, yeah. yeah, like yeah. Oh, like go fetch coffee, go get lunch. <laughs> yeah. But I, I really felt like my work was like super impactful for the for my team. Uh, previously, we didn't have like any like testing. Yeah, and like really when I came in, that's where Tiff wanted to like I guess see me shine, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and so I, I I ran with it. Back. Welcome back. Welcome back. What's up, man? How what's you doing, man? Good to see you again on the couch. I, I, I'm glad to be back on the couch. You That's know, what's man. up. I love I it. I love it. Tech people get their conversations met. You know, like I, I feel like we've we've done something interesting with this. Thing. It's been a really good year. We've had a lot of great conversations, it's true. and we're gonna have another great one today. Oh, so yeah, y'all, y'all should be ready. I want to welcome everybody back. We're having another fearless conversation yeah, here on the Fearless You Heard podcast. Uh-huh. And as you mentioned, that's Richie. Yeah. I'm Marcus. We're test engineers here at Fearless, and today we have another good conversation. Yeah, what's that saying. topic? What we I think we're going to be today? talking about growing tech talent okay. through our fearless internship program. Ooh. So I know we had a conversation last year sometime with okay. our interns, yeah, but this Shelby, one, we, Tyshawn, yeah, yeah, that was a really good one. Um, so we're going to have another conversation with another special intern, but you know, this time on the on the chair. But we got to do something first, though. Yeah, we got to get that mic right and make sure that mic check is. We got to do it right. Yeah, I think let's start that. Let's, let's do, do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Mic check one two one two. Mic check one two one two. On to you, to me. Mic check one two one two. Mic check one two one two. It's on you. Mic check one two one two. Mic check one two one two one two. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look As you that. guys can see, we have someone with a lot of soul, you know, Got some soul just like there. our software. Can you introduce yourself? Yeah. What's up, guys? I'm uh, Darren Morano, and up, I Darren? am a test engineer just like you two. Yeah. That's it. We, so we, we know we, Darren. We know Darren. Yeah, yeah so we know Darren. Now you guys are going to get to know Darren a little bit. <laughs> yes. So let everybody know a little bit more about yourself. So tell us, how, how did you find out about the Fearless Internship Program? Yeah, for sure. So... Uh, during my junior year, probably I would around college. Okay. Uh, everyone around me was getting like internships, and I was like, "Oh wow, I should like, probably, what's going you know, on? Should probably get off too. my you know lazy yeah. butt and start <laughs> start looking." Um, so I want to say I applied to like fifty internships, Jeez. and out of those fifty, like three. All within Maryland. Back. Yeah, all in Maryland, okay. all through like UMBC Works and okay. just like Googling okay. jobs. Uh, how did you go about leveraging those resources as a student? Like, how did you hear about these jobs? Yeah, actually, uh, so UMBC Works, I, I mentioned that. Oh, okay, that was the actual site? or Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you were saying, like, my work at UMBC. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Uh, yeah. And actually, so for Fearless, it was an email. So somebody from UMBC mm. Works emailed, like, I guess all of the comp side people. Okay. And uh, thank God I responded to that email because, yeah. you know, I wouldn't be here. That's what's up. Email. That's what's up. So when you, when you first came into um, the program or even – what you were doing in college under underneath the comp sci situation. Um, well, actually, just give us a little bit of background about what you were doing at that time frame. Yeah. Uh, so comp sci, uh, basically all comp sci, um, you know, math. Math yeah. was required. Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, I don't really use it now, but. <laughs> <laughs> but You'd be surprised. <laughs> don't tell anybody. Yeah. It's a secret. The, the projects, though, I really found the projects pretty fun uh, doing, like, actually coding, like, games. Oh, okay. and like And then so we mainly okay. focused on like C++, um, a little bit of Python, but yeah, C++, and all those projects were, uh, I actually enjoyed them. Like, yeah. despite it being, you know, homework, mm-hmm. yeah. uh, it, was, uh, it was fun to make. So was it, did you feel equipped in that regard? Like, did you have to leverage TAs, extra oh, sure. classes? Yeah, or definitely. What, what, what did you leverage exactly? Uh, so I basically lived in office hours. Mm-hmm. Me too. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, and my teachers and are like, oh. Yeah. The list would go, like, so long, and then mm-hmm. you'd be there waiting for, like, two hours. You still haven't even... I got into yet. a dress, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, is that the, that's it? Office hours, any like extra books or YouTube pages, anything books. that helped you? A lot that? of YouTube, yeah. A lot oh, of YouTube, okay. a lot of Googling, really. I mean, I still yeah. a lot of Googling. <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly. I, Just about what question to ask. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I can only imagine. So you've been at Fearless for how long now? 
A little over a year, a but yeah. for, for kind of the internship, probably like two years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, hey, give yourself some credit for that <laughs> time, like man, three. because that's yeah. a yeah, that's a full good. time yeah. situation. And if y'all didn't know, it's a I think it's a what a ten week program, yep. full time hybrid situation. So you were yep. in it, right? Um, when you first joined mm-hmm. the internship program, did you join as a tester? No, I was just a general software engineer. You're a software engineer. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, so talk about that. How did yeah. you? What what sparked testing? Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so first day, I didn't really know what I was like supposed to do. Okay. Like I got the project all on my, my laptop. I was just playing around and my mind sort of naturally went to finding things wrong. So um, like I wanted to find a bug. Okay. And I, I think I did find one. It might've been the first day, might've not been, but uh, it was a list of states. And so I was going through and I was like, okay, well, what if they're not in alphabetical? Guess what? They weren't. Mm-hmm. But Jeez. it was in alphabetical order based on the state abbreviation. Oh, <laughs> and so someone man. on the team gently like sort of like, hey, it is. So, you know, you know, don't worry about it. But mm-hmm. like, yeah, I mean, just from day one, I was looking. Being able to question things. And yeah, yeah. Like, call see, out yeah, yeah, exactly. cases. I, I, I think we should take a lot of credit for that. You know, he, you know we, we had a lot of conversations with Darren during that time. Once he mentioned this whole testing thing. I think we, I like, think we convinced oh, them. Oh, you like I, it, huh? Darren, is it okay running. that we take a little bit of credit? Yeah, for it? Uh, <laughs> a little, a little. It was so innate. Yeah. I heard um, rumors about Darren's interest in the execution of testing before yeah, I met Darren. Absolutely. I was like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 good information to be a part of. So I'm glad that came. You said a that natural three um, jobs actually reached back out out of the like hundreds. What? Yeah. What was next at that point? Did you? Leverage each interview. Did you get to um, receive an offer from each internship oh, opportunity? Gosh. Like, yeah, yeah uh, I, I can talk about the other three because I, I kind of okay. remember them vividly. Okay. Uh, so one of them, uh, I just got a call out of the blue. Okay. And I wasn't really prepared for it, and it was like a pretty like like right off the bat they were like super like talking super technical. Oh yeah. Like, um, sorry, <laughs> I don't yeah, know. I'm not too sure. <laughs> off the top of my head, but okay. yeah. And so that call you can imagine didn't really go pretty well. So they never called back. Uh, the, the second one was another, it was a programming challenge and I despise those. Oh yeah. I think it was called like a hacker rank mm. and I, I sort of like fold under pressure. It was timed and all that. Yeah. And so I wasn't able to, you know, like pass that, that thing and mm-hmm. it never really, that I didn't like get the percentage that. they were hoping you yeah, would. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and so yeah, it would like run the code and then yeah, it would see if you pass, but okay. didn't do that. I, out of the three, Fearless has had the best uh, sort of like interview process okay because it started with a cultural call nothing technical related okay and you know it's just to get like sort of your vibe see if you'd be a good fit for the company love that and that was morella yeah so yeah. she's a yes, great I'm person shout out morella <laughs> shout out morella yeah and so after that i was like i passed a cultural call you know easy stuff okay uh and then mm. <laughs> mm. Yeah. is it easy to be a good person <laughs> yeah exactly oh, okay. that's all you gotta do i don't know that's a really good question for another time. Okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, after that culture call was the team interview call. And, you know, not to toot my own horn, but I think mm-hmm. I kind of like nailed that interview. Way to go. Like, yeah. They, they like scheduled it. And so I had time to prepare. I came up with a bunch of good questions to ask. Uh, research. Like I went onto the website and I saw, you know, a bunch of like, there was like a, a like a blog post. Oh, yeah. Thing, mm-hmm. And I sort of scoured that. Uh, I remember looking through the names of the, uh, on the Google Calendar invite, I looked through the names of the... Like present people. Yeah, the people there. And I looked for, like, in the blog section, I looked for their names, and then mm. Tiffany appeared. Oh, that's very wise. Yeah. I think that's... Take notes. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You guys are taking yeah. notes he's, because... He's, you're giving some nuggets here, and <laughs> we always want to encourage our, our, our listeners and followers to take some notes, so you all make sure you take some notes. Yeah, scout sure. out who's um, present in your process. And for then, sure. Go back yeah. to see what they've referenced. And yeah, yeah. And Tiffany's a good one. Tiffany's been with Fearless oh, like since. Yeah, yeah I, I believe so. Mm-hmm. I, I was lucky to have her as a mentor. Yeah. So how does that work? Like, how do you feel coming into Fearless, being received well through the pipeline of like the onboarding process? But um, what do you find in your heart? What What do you leverage in your knowledge to become teachable or to be a mentee in this regard? Uh, so Tiffany really set me up for uh, like success. Uh, she sort of nudged me in the right, like the testing direction. And I can't, you know, okay. I can't thank her enough for that. Yeah, nice, uh, nice. but really, though, so it, we'll wasn't it wasn't us. <laughs> 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 Tiffany nudged me too. Though. Yeah. That's yeah. that's the backstory. Yeah. yeah. Before I had that's a cool. job, I had a contract, and Tiffany was teaching me a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, we have that yeah, exactly. Very similar yeah. situations. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Uh, but yeah, it's really like, you know, you got to be willing to be taught, mm. right? You can't, you got to have a mentor. You got to listen to them, you know? That's so, definitely a nugget. Yeah. I like that. So we've mentioned Tiffany's name and we've mentioned you doing some work. Um, so you actually joined um, the EAPD project. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you can kind of tell us about that that intrigued you while once once you first joined? Yeah. Uh, so once I first joined, uh, I mainly did like QA work almost. Mm -hmm. So I would, you know, the devs would create work and then, you know, once they're done, they have people review it. Uh, I think that was a good, like, one of probably the perfect place to start mm -hmm. when, you know, getting accustomed to, like, a team, because I've never been a part of, a like, a working environment, a team before. Mm. And so starting at the QA, like, you got to understand the ticket. You got to understand the project. Yeah. You got to know yeah. everything and then then verify yourself that it works. And so from a process standpoint, I think it's, like, the best place to start. I guess you're not really adding anything to the project. You know, you're not committing any code to it, but... Okay. It's good to like start there and, you know, um, really assess the landscape. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The setting of what you're actually working with. You're familiar with it. I like that. That's what that's basically what we do every day, every all day, day right? Yeah. Exactly. Um, it's it's good to kind of get in from the the ground up so that we really have an understanding of where we want things to go or how things are supposed to go yeah. so that we can figure out you know, the best route to take. Finding those right questions to figure out Absolutely. what what other doors can open, what mm -hmm. other pa cases and scenarios are there. All those edge cases, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think this is a good time. Like, make sure you guys are dropping questions in the chat for Darren. Good call. Um, good call. Take your time. Take process what he's talking about, and especially if you're in school, and um, see how you can leverage those resources um, around you to get to um, a, a good internship for yourself, like Darren did. Do you think that it was evident um, to you? as a person applying to hundreds of jobs that the process of interning and, or even interviewing could be good. Like, is that something you could gauge before getting in? Uh, yeah, it is very hard. Oh man. <laughs> it is super hard to, I want to, cause like I said, I applied to like 50 right? Oh yeah, and like only three responded. It's super hard to get your foot in the door. And I believe like, that's probably like the majority of like the issue. Like, you want to get your foot in the door so you can sort of like prove yourself mm -hmm. almost, but uh, it's like you got to find people willing to give you a shot. And yeah. you know, for me, it took it took a lot, but I'm very glad I ended up here. And yeah. I'm here full time now. So. Lo love that. Yeah. So that's a, that's actually another really good point. So you did the internship, and you know, I, I don't think there's really there's no guarantees, right? Mm -hmm. But you still came off with the the experience and the knowledge. So yeah. can you tell us about like? Once the program was kind of like ready to tailor off a little bit, what things did you believe that you could take with you um, um, on the way out without even knowing that you were coming back? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, there's, there's a lot. Uh, one pretty important one was during the internship program, we did a, like a resume workshop. Oh. So all the interns got together. We sort of uh, fine-tuned our resume if we didn't oh, have nice. one. Even, well, we had to have had one. You know, we applied to, uh, so just fine-tune it. Morella would go in and review it, give tips for everybody. Uh, and so that was good for getting, you know, a nice solid resume out of Ooh, that. Especially, yeah. you know, since we're just coming off of the internship, so you want to put that on there. That's nice. Yeah. And really good. other meetings, uh, I remember one about a public speaking one. So that was cool. Like, I guess kind of what I'm doing now. Yeah. But, um, yeah, public speaking. And I think probably the best thing I took away from the internship was – intern stand-up and that was uh every day we had stand-up with the interns mm -hmm. at 9 a.m sharp and to give like a little uh summary Don't about stand -up. alone or morella joined it? yeah morella oh. and everybody yeah yeah, oh, yeah. nice yeah nice, and so nice, yeah. Nice. stand up was basically you know a little status report because we're working from home so oh, yeah. what'd you do last 24 what are you doing next 24 any questions uh, but the fact that it was at 9 a.m. sharp yeah. was, like, at the moment, I didn't know how impactful that was. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, like, getting up every day at 9 a.m., starting your day, like, developing a routine every day, it really gets you in the mindset to work because, mm. you know, I've never been. Yeah, yeah, it's all, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So, at the moment, I definitely didn't know how impactful it was. But developing that routine was definitely helpful. So let's let's hype internship up in that yes, regard. Yes, absolutely. Like, That's some good stuff. What other ways does it set you up for the workplace? Like, 
how do you think, what do you think you would be truly missing if you never had an internship and had the opportunity to get into a job? That's a good question. Yeah. So, uh, the internship is an internship is basically like a, like a small, small little baby step towards an actual job. Mm -hmm. And it, it definitely helped me transition into like this full-time job that I'm at right now. Yeah. And so that, in that regard, great because, you know, an intern is labeled like, hey, you know, you're, you're learning, right? You got to yeah, learn somehow. Sure. Uh, but if you're just, you know, straight up applying for the job, it's not, you're not an intern. You probably have more expectations. Mm, uh, you're true. probably expected to know, know. what to do versus <laughs> yeah. expected to learn. That's true. Uh, yeah. And so, yeah. And, um, and you feel like, so it gave you the opportunities to trip up and learn. Oh, definitely. As opposed to just stepping and knowing. Yeah, definitely. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. So what, what are some of the things that you felt like you had to really get a grasp of once you got into this testing role, um, even in the internship portion? So you were like, okay, what I need to really study this. Um, what, what were some of those things that you kind of took on your own to just say, hey, I'm, I'm going to take advantage of this time. I'm going to learn a little bit more about this so that I can contribute. Um, what, what were some of those things? Uh, yeah, uh, one specific example comes to mind. I remember talking with... Uh, DLR, shout right. out DLR, yes. uh, about testing because uh, we went. I went to the office in person, like one day. Everybody came into the office one day, and so at that time, I knew I wanted to be a tester, mm -hmm. and so I sought out uh, DLR and I wanted to get his insight about testing. And my current, the before talking to him, my insight was like, "Oh, testing is all about you know breaking, breaking th finding yeah, things, yeah. Uh, finding <laughs> things wrong, you know, seeing." Uh, how we can uh, break the system so we can fix it later. Mm -hmm. uh, after talking to him, now I know that it's not about that. It's mm -hmm. not really about that. It's about like shifting testing to the left, there preventing bugs versus yeah. finding bugs, all about all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, and so he definitely changed my mindset in that sense. Uh, and then after that, I went. He gave me a bunch of resources yeah. to to look into. Would yeah, I think I think I think we had a conversation after that after that as well. Um yeah, yeah. down down the testing path. So yeah, yeah. Shifting testing to the what way. tools did you leverage first? Uh there was one there was like the five principles. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't I can't remember that <laughs> off the top of my head. You're quizzing us. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't uh, <laughs> preventing <laughs> bugs. We just know exists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Preventing <laughs> bugs over finding bugs, uh testing thoroughly versus testing at the end. Yep. Uh, uh oh, I got two out of the five. Yeah, yeah <laughs> no, nah, testing we, our purpose. Right, we, ha we have a testing manifesto here for yeah, those yeah, yeah. that uh, you know, may not understand some of this great language that we're speaking. But you know, we have some principles and um that we that we go by, and um, Darren definitely displayed those very early. So we were very happy to have Darren come on as a <laughs> tester. It was yeah. it was it was like an excellent transition. Um, so a little bit of a uh, add on to that so you came in and you made um a pretty good impact um on on your team H how did that feel to kind of receive some of that feedback um in relation to what you were doing yeah so there, there's this like stereotype where interns don't really get work yeah. that is like impactful Significant, yeah. yeah like yeah. Oh, like go fetch coffee go get, <laughs> get lunch or yeah. but i i really felt like my work was like super impactful for the for my team uh, previously, we didn't have, like, any, like, testing. Yeah. And, like, really when I came in, that's where Tiff wanted to, like, I guess see me shine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so I, I, I ran with it, and I started writing, you know, Cypress Automated Testing. You guys know Cypress oh, yeah, yeah, Automated yeah. Tests. One of those tools. Yeah. And so those tests would run before code would get pushed to production. Mm -hmm. And so now you would never have to test that piece manually ever mm -hmm, again mm -hmm, and yeah. so th there's that concept of smoke testing or like sanity testing and now you don't have to your sanity is you know being checked automatically I yeah. guess. and so i really felt the impact there and sometimes when devs would try to push up code and tests would fail they would come to me like the the intern and they're yeah. like i was like hey could you uh, help me and i was like oh yeah for sure let's pair up and we'll, we'll knock it out together and then nice. you would go through the test uh like the error form or whatever and yeah we'd see it's like oh here it should be a letter yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah. did you come across any challenges in that area like just you know testing wasn't your wasn't your first mm -hmm. like baby you know what i'm saying so mm -hmm. how, how was it getting to now shift your mindset into a, a level of testing and then also learning these 
these tools that we use and different things like that. Um, did you come across any challenges in that area? Uh, no, I learned it perfect. <laughs> look at this. Look, look at this. Uh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. This guy's uh, amazing. I was, I was actually Thanks learning it alongside Tiff. So that was very helpful. Uh, oh, so nice. she, yeah. Uh, we were both looking into Cypress at the same time. Mm -hmm. And so she was able to check my work. And if I were ever to run into a problem, you know, I'd probably call, I'd definitely call out on her. I always felt comfortable with her, uh, like approaching her with any question. Yeah. And yeah, so. That was definitely. I think we. I think we've all had some great conversations with Tiff. I think oh, um, yeah. in between the time frame of you joining the team, I was having a little some conversations with Tiff on there. She was. We love Tiff. We do. She loves <laughs> testing, and that's what we love as well. And yeah. that that collaboration that you spoke of earlier, pairing with the devs, is something that we, you know, we take pride in because it's not yeah. just about us pointing out this and that being wrong. It's us coming together and doing what we do best, and that's creating software with a soul. Have those uh, resources and things that you've learned carried in, even into the project that you're on now? Oh, for sure, yeah. Uh, yeah. Mess Hub? Yeah, MES Hub MES. Is, is what I'm at now. It originally was EAPD, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we now switched to Salesforce, and now we're calling it under oh, a different okay. name. Oh, uh, nice. Way to, way, yeah. way to teach tools. us. Way to learn us over here. Did they, uh, did they expand or shrink the project in any way as far as um, people? Uh, oh, yeah, people. Yeah, it went from like open source like on GitHub to like this new technology called Salesforce, and I, I've been enjoying it. Uh, it did, you know, sort of axe our old project. So yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fair. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, you upgraded <laughs> a little bit, right? <laughs> oh, uh, I, was, I think it's a little I'm bit upgraded in that instance, <laughs> but uh, that's off the pod. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I've definitely like taken like those concepts of like shifting testing to the left yeah. and applied it to my current team. Like that doesn't need to be interesting. How? Yeah. How do? Because I think we say this phrase. Um, we need. A, Start giving more practical examples I, I, of what I that looks that. like. 100%. What are one or two ways you've shifted testing left or at least work towards that effort? Uh, so, yeah, so uh, shifting testing to the left, all about, like, getting testers involved earlier in the process. Mm -hmm. uh, so I go in, like, once tickets are created, uh, once they're not, I, I sort of try and to create the acceptance criteria there. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe even, like, write a test script that'll be... Uh, used to test when the functionality is in there. Yeah. So even like that to that to an extent, uh, but yeah, other yeah, than that. Yeah, I like that, that. Yeah, I've tried that as well. And if I don't have like a test case to specify mm -hmm. at that moment, like I'll add like heuristics, like questions mm -hmm. they could ask mm -hmm. when they get to that yeah, stage. Yeah. Um, and it, it gives it helps the devs too. It, yes, especially. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think it takes a lot. Of, I think it takes a lot of pressure off of everybody in the mm -hmm. process. You know, um, with us shifting our you know our time and our energy earlier in the process we have you know we we, we work with our designers earlier we work with mm -hmm. our developers earlier um and that way we're able to catch you know exactly. anything that's kind of swerving off the path a little yeah. bit a little earlier to then help out our product team <laughs> yep. and everybody else early so that we can kind of you know coast our way through or cruise our way to the end of the sprint so mm -hmm. yeah yeah the, like the worst feeling is like the devs finish their work and then you go to check it, and then it, th this thing isn't covered in the acceptance criteria. Yeah. You got to bounce it back, and then it's all back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, yeah, it happens, but we would love a smooth <laughs> yeah. to, to move it a little bit the other direction. Oh, <laughs> what should um, future possible fearless interns consider about this opportunity, or even around this opportunity, if they shoot their shot and don't get it? Oh, just keep applying. Like I said, mm. the hardest part is to get your foot in the door. Uh, and I, I want to say that I think I said it as like 80% of it's like it, it's the worst feeling, you know, applying, getting rejected just constantly. But as long as you keep trying, that, that's the yeah. it's the hardest part, you know, persevere through it all. And you eventually now once you get in, you get once it. you get in, what advice do you have? Mm. Say yes to everything. Yeah. <laughs> Your foot in the door. You're yeah. available. You're, You're available. Here. You're here to learn. Yeah, yeah. It's true. I like that. You want to take advantage of, you know, everything. Where does this teachability come from? Were you always receptive to, like, mentorship and teaching? Um. Is this, like, a UMBC culture group? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, does it? It's Shout natural. to the whole yeah. universe. <laughs> Is there a place you could point it out? I don't, actually, I don't think so, because I never really had any mentors to begin, like, before. Okay, okay. I guess I had, like, a piano teacher when I was in like, <laughs> elementary school. Do you school. have any, uh, <laughs> like, mentors in computer science? Not not really. I want to say, I did have, like, a pretty solid group of friends, though. Okay. And we would all, you know, okay. Oh, the like, show. Okay. together, so, yeah. 
That it all grow it, together. Yeah, that makes it better. So we've been having this long uh, running conversation about mentorship and like community. Do you think that yeah. we, we haven't really asked the question in a way where it's either or, or like if both are necessary, I guess, but um, it's really cool to see that those things are mentioned regardless. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. people talk about their growth process and how passively um, they did establish community to help them keep those yeah. Uh, yeah. things in progress and help them keep themselves accountable. But then there's also the cases of mentors where, um, you know, there's a person. Mm -hmm. It's more like personal. Yeah. yeah. I like Just that. suppose, how would you compare the two? Do you think that, uh, and once you started working and you had that mentorship from Tiffany, you're like, dang, I like this better. Or do you're like, oh, I'd rather just work with my focus group. It's nice to have somebody like higher than you yeah. and like, you're not, you're kind of like expecting them to know how to do it. Oh, but yeah. That's yeah. True. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a lot of pressure. Yeah, the yeah. day that they don't know, you're like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when yeah, you, know, you turn together and you find mm -hmm. out. That's but true. That's true. I, lo I love, we just, I love the fact that we just, we learn together a lot. Yeah. And I, I think that's pretty cool. I, I don't think it's a problem. You know, that takes a lot mm -hmm. of transparency, though, to say, I don't know. But it's, but it helps out too, because then you know where you should start. You yeah. Know, you have I an agree. opportunity to understand where you start and, where we where we need to go at that point so i agree be honest yeah be honest be honest ask questions sooner i think that was my problem in an internship i don't know if you had this feedback when you left but my internship feedback was you didn't ask enough questions like, uh, and i was so afraid to like look dumb i didn't want to ask those <laughs> questions so i understood exactly what opportunities he spoke towards but um it takes that it takes that confidence to understand that um on the other side of my question if it's a dumb question, there's a better question to yeah, ask. For sure. But at the end of the day, there's always an answer. You've done a will, great job. You got you asked some great questions now Ooh. to this day. I ain't even on the team with you, you right now. You gotta ask a lot of bad gotta, questions. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. think that's a part of what we do though. We yep. we gotta we gotta nitpick a little bit to get to where we need to be. Poke at the context and yeah. really test it. There it is. So yeah, we have to plug something for do everyone have to watching. <laughs> all of the people studying, all of the people looking for internships at this moment. You heard Darren. These internships are going fast. They're going yeah. fast. Your, your yeah. classmates yeah. are yeah. in their job. They're, they're, they're headed towards their paths. And you guys can be too. We have some internships do. opening up on April 8th. And that is going to be amazing for you guys. Definitely take your time to uh, or open up sooner than April 8th. I don't know if it's sooner, but it's, it's we're going to be. through, opens through. Applications through April are 8th. open. And they're I believe open up now, until. Up until April, April 8th. 8th. Yes. If there's anything um, that we have to clarify on that. But I believe yeah. that. So if you're out there right now, just go look. Start look, now. Yes. Look in at this Fearless Check out the internships. website at fearless.tech slash purple mm -hmm. slash internships. One more time. Yes. Fearless.tech slash purple slash internships and those positions will be a product management intern product Ooh, management intern a content design content intern. design Ooh, intern we got a financial planning and analysis intern Ooh, and then we have an it help desk intern so if you guys fit those descriptions even if you're neighboring um definitely shoot your shot if it, as you can see we yeah, had someone exactly. come in as a developer and he Took another route. Took another route. Join the testing team. Stay flexible. Stay flexible. And like Darren said, ask your questions. Ask your questions. You know, say yes to everything. Yes to everything. <laughs> <laughs> Darren, thank you for sitting down with us. Thank you. We for really having appreciate me. it, man. You know, fellow yeah. tester, we had to get you in here. You know, of course, of course. we appreciate you. To everybody out there, thank you all for tuning in to another fearless you conversation heard. on the Fearless You Heard podcast. You heard it here first. You heard it here first, man. Darren, you heard it here first. I heard it. Y'all heard it here first. Everybody heard it here first. <laughs> Is there anything else? Like, we, I think that's it. You have anything else you want to share with the future employees or interns? Say yes to everything. Say yes. <laughs> Again. Yeah. Say yes. Say yes to everything, y'all. All right. Peace. <laughs> Till next time. <laughs>